Hey guys, it's Victor Gimme Breakman, Gimme Flakeman here to teach you and myself about some Japanese stuff that I didn't know before. Uh, living in Japan a long time, just like living in any country, doesn't mean you know everything about that country. And uh, having this YouTube channel gives me a great opportunity to bone up, no pun intended, bone up on that information and pass it on to you. One thing that you may have seen before, uh, just a minute, got some stuff to show you. One thing that you may have seen in movies before or somewhere is this thing here. And you might notice it looks like horns here. And appropriately, this is called a tsuno daru. Tsuno daru. And it is a vessel. Well, actually, usually when you buy it, it's full of sake. It's got one, this particular one, which is a pretty large one. It's 1.8 milliliters, which I believe is called an isho or one show. One show is a measurement of sake. I'm not sure if they measure other things, but I think for, for sure sake. I don't think you buy gas, you don't buy like gasoline or anything else or Coca-Cola in shows, but when you have one large, one of those large bottles of sake, which you probably, I don't know if you've seen those before, but uh, you know, in America, we have a two liter bottle of uh, Coca-Cola. Well, in Japan, they have a 1.8 milliliter, which is almost two liter, but it's in a, it's in a glass, usually glass, large bottle. It's about this tall. It looks like like a huge, like it looks like you're a little person and it's, huge, it's a huge bottle. Anyway, that is what fits into this thing. It usually comes with sake, but this is a ceremonial or celebratory container. And I have, I got two of these. I, I picked up two of these uh, used. And because uh, I thought, you know, I've never seen them before. And I thought probably one of my Patreon supporters would want one. And uh, they do. So I put them on Instagram and boom, they went like that. Anyway, if you're a Patreon supporter and you're interested in Japanese stuff, I do offer on occasion uh, things there, um, you know, Japanese stuff. Anyway, um, let's get to the let's get to the the actual the goods, okay? So this is I took one out of the box. I have two of them. I took one out of the box to show you to show you what it comes with. It comes with a stand. It's a little piece. It's kind of like just hard plastic. I mean, good solid plastic. It comes with a stand, a display stand, which you will put here. Put here. Right? Then it comes. That's my. Ninja Wi-Fi. If you're coming to Japan, you want Wi-Fi, get Ninja Wi-Fi. I use it all the time. It's in the description. And this is the actual container. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks kind of cheapy if you open it up. See there? This is the actual, this is where you put the sake. Now, uh, Kyle and, Kai, Kai and Eric, I think that's their names, uh, another, another channel, very good YouTubers, very good YouTubers. They said I should put jelly beans in here, but, which is a good idea. So when you buy it, this comes full of sake, presumably. Well, it does, it does. I mean, I just don't have it that way. That's what the inside looks like. It's just, it's just a bucket, right? It looks like an ice bucket. Like that's about the size of an ice bucket at a hotel, at a cheap motel or something. Anyway, put this in there. Fill up with whatever you put. So you can put anything you want in it. This is the uh, symbol, celebratory symbol, um, which is also used with sushi, I believe. What is this symbol? Yorokobi? Shiawase? It's some kind of happiness uh, symbol. I'll put it in the description. Um, should have prepared that one. Okay. Anyway, it's, it'll be in the description, I promise. And this goes on top, like so. And hold on. Oh, it locks in there. Oh, it locks in. So it locks in there. Yeah, can't fall out. Then on top of that, now this is called this main this hontai or the main section is called a tsuno uh, tsuno daru. Now tsuno means horns, right? Like daredevil horns, whatever horns. And taru means barrel, but when you pronounce certain words together, often in Japanese when you pronounce words together, the pronunciation on T becomes D. So tsuno plus taru together would be tsuno daru. Okay? And this middle part is called the chuo zuno. Now we're not, I couldn't find this in the dictionary, so we're presuming that's how you pronounce it. Tsuno duro. And tsuno duro, tsuno, uh, chuo, I'm a chuo tsuno. So uh, chuo means center and tsuno means horn so you're a unicorn and that goes right there hold on i had oh yeah there we go so it just goes in right there see so that's what it's supposed to look like then on top of that you have something called a mizuhiki mizuhiki is a cer uh, ceremonial celebratory piece of paper nothing's written on it but you often have this and this i believe goes where does this go right in the middle there oh yeah, yeah it goes there and you tie it this little see like so Okay, there you go. And that's, that's basically how you, how you display it, right? Then, of course, you're gonna wanna drink, and for that you need a 
Uh, this is called a sa I, I never knew this. I've, I've had these before. I have tons of these actually. This is called a Sakazuki. I should have memorized this. Apologies. Uh, Sakazuki. This is called a Sakazuki and it's basically a very shallow little sake cup. So you put the sake in there and drink it. Now this particular, these, this particular kind of sake display is used at weddings or when you give someone a yuino. Yuino is a kind of um, uh, a gift that you give to your betrothed. So a little bit like a, like a dowry except uh, not necessarily. <laughs> anyway, it's a gift usually that I believe the, the this is the bride gifts of the groom, the groom, groom gives of the bride. I'm not sure which way, but it's, it's given at ceremonies and at weddings. So you will find this at, at a wedding or when they build a new, a, a, a new building and they put up a new building, I guess at the opening ceremony, they would have uh, one of these Tsuno Darus hanging out waiting for you. Uh, I believe those are, oh yeah, there's one more thing. When you pour it, of course, let me take this off again so you can show you. You take off the Chuosen, just twist it off. Don't play with it too much. Uh, there you go, take that off, and you unscrew the little, just screw top, and you put this in, right, and this is a spout, and the spout in this case, this is a special word which again I've never seen before, which is called a uh, tsugiguchi, tsugiguchi, and you pour that there, and when you put that in, it just makes it easier to pour, so you can just pour it, Beep. and you pour, I guess you would pour some in a cup, and you would drink it. And that's a Tsuno Daru. Now, uh, if you buy these online full of sake, they can go anywhere from 6,000 to 12,000, 20,000, uh, which is about 60 bucks to 22 bucks. In case those of you are, in case some of you are curious, uh, if you buy them empty, they're $40. Now, uh, I, I got a couple and I sold them uh, to my, um, my Patreon supporters for 30 bucks each for new people and for old people I actually gave I actually gave one away because he's been there for a long time he's been there for me since the beginning so on occasion if you be if you are supporting you you're a supporter for a long time I'll just give you stuff I'll just send you stuff depending on how long uh, just just because I know some people are gonna ask me in the comments even though you have no intention of buying one which is fine anyway this is what it look, looks like and this is how it comes and anyway uh, that's it so I just wanted to show you that it is kind of interesting I never I never knew what these were called and, I, and I'd often seen them. They're pretty cool. Um, I'm, I almost feel bad about giving uh, giving and uh, sending them away because they're pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're plastic. Uh, traditionally, I believe they're made out of wood and you know bamboo and stuff like that. And they cover the sake barrel. I suppose the sake barrel is always going to be, well, I guess some of the sac original sake barrels would be wood, right? Anyway, that's what, that's what they look like. That's it. Uh, I'm going to send these off tomorrow. Um, I often have a bunch of Japanese stuff that I think I feel like some people in the States would really want but they don't know how to get their hands on if by any chance anyone wants something in particular uh, this happened to me actually last um, week a guy contacted me and he, he was trying to get some Japanese stamps that they, you know they, and you have to go to the post office to pick them up uh, so he asked me to do it so if you're into that and it doesn't take too much time and I will do it for you of course uh, for a little money to cover my expenses uh, and my time because that took like an hour and a half to do so uh, but every time I do a little um, a chore for someone uh, I learn something so anyway the other thing I wanted to show you today which uh, is really weird and I've offered this on my patreon but nobody wanted it for some reason and I think it's kind of cool this is a whole box of Japanese dolls and they're all like kind of they're in pieces and broken a little bit, like like that, see? I mean, the hair is somewhere there. Like some of them, they're old. They're old. There are a lot of them are antique. Some of them are complete, like that one. Some of them are old. Uh, some of them are, are made of just a bamboo, right? Some of them are actual dolls, like so, right? So there are, there are a whole box of them with their stands. Those are their stands. Some of them come with stands. Anyway, it's a whole box, and I, I don't really have any use for them and they're taking up space in my limited... That's one of the problems I have is I love this stuff and I would keep it all if I had the space, but I don't have the space. So if anyone wants this box of dolls, I would be very happy to send it to you. This probably would cost... Let me see. This, by the way, just to send will cost 20, uh, 2,760 yen, 65 yen, I believe. I actually wrote it down. How much is it? 2,760 yen. So that's about 25 uh, bucks or so. Um, 
This, I'm imagining, will cost about the same, maybe a little bit more. It seems to be a little bit heavier. It's a bunch of dolls. I, you know, if you took them all out, and if some, someone who had the time and patience uh, could probably make a really nice display or take them out, refurbish them, fix them up, and, and do something with them. I think they're pretty cool. Anyway, a lot of people will say, oh, that's just garbage, it is junk. And to be honest, in Japan, a lot of this stuff is junk and is garbage. But to um, if you, if you in, enjoy antiques and old Japanese stuff, like I do, then for you, you'll you'll just enjoy them. Anyway, if anybody wants this, uh, and you're not a Patreon, if you're a Patreon member, just hit me up, I'll send it to you for just the shipping cost. Or, or, even, or even free, depending on how long you've been supporting me. If you are a new person or someone who just wants a whole box of Japanese dolls, uh, make me an offer. And uh, if no one else makes me a better offer, I'll just send it to you. Anyway, oh, that's all I got for you now. Uh, more videos coming soon. And yeah, I just wanted to make this video and, and teach you some Japanese stuff. So anyway, that's one more time. That's called a Tsuno Daru. Tsuno Daru. Taru. Taru. Hello. Tsuno Taru. And together, Tsuno, da, tsuno Daru. And the words today are the. Mizuhiki, the Sakazuki, Sakazuki, that's right, uh, the Chuo Tsuno, and what else was it? Oh, yes, the Tsugiguchi. Tsugiguchi means mouth, so Tsugiguchi, the spout. Right? Anyway, it'll all be in the description for those of you who studying Japanese. You will probably impress any. I'm, I'm, I'm sure even a lot of Japanese, actually most Japanese people don't even know <laughs> what these things are. They'll know, they'll know what Tsuno Daru, but they won't know all those specific pieces. So it's pretty, um, pretty uh, specific information. Anyway, they're used at weddings, uh, the openings of buildings, and um, when people get engaged. Okay, as gifts. Okay, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm touching the mouse so I'm going to turn you off. No, no, off. <laughs>